today, Windows 12 is coming soon. A madman combined an AMD and NVIDIA GPU and got three times the performance. NVIDIA's 4090 replacement is the real D, and AMD's doing it. Multiple GPUs combined into one the right way. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, Windows 10 was supposed to be the last version of Windows, but then we got Windows 11, and according to a new report from the Commercial Times, Windows 12 is around the corner. And if you thought you'd heard the last thing about AI, oh boy, think again because Windows 12 is apparently set to come with a bunch of new AI technologies. Apparently the CEO of Acer and the CEO of Quanta were at a conference recently, with both of them being optimistic about what AI can do to bring in new business opportunities. As they AI PCs will begin emerging next year, and from the article, it sounds like one of them mentioned that Windows 12 is set to be released in June of next year, which is pretty wild because that would be less than three years since the release of Windows 11. But I guess it's not too surprising given the advent of AI and what all Microsoft would likely need to do to fully incorporate it into their OS. Either way, if this is right, Windows 12 is coming, and soon. But first, now's the time to join me and millions more to learn the deeper side of computers with the best learning platform and today's sponsor. Brilliant, the one place that was built to teach the STEM field, so they know a thing or two about computer science. But the real reason Brilliant is the place I use is because they teach the way I learn, which is by letting me jump in and do it myself. So no more sitting through boring lectures. Instead, they use these puzzles that start you off with simple concepts and eventually add more until you're learning things you never thought you could. From large language models that power AI to programming, learning how computer memory works, and so much more. Basically, Brilliant is the best, and they believe it so much that they're letting my viewers try it out for 30 days free when you visit Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt. Plus, when you sign up at Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt, you can get 20% off their premium membership for life. Once again, that's Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt. Next up for today, did you know that you can combine an AMD GPU with an NVIDIA GPU to get a three times FPS uplift? That's right, the story comes from Quasar Zone, where an absolute madman came up with the idea of using both NVIDIA's DLSS3 frame generation and AMD's fluid motion frames for three times the performance. For those who don't know, a little while back, AMD had a technology called Fluid Motion Video. It basically used frame interpolation to make videos smoother, and some people would actually use an NVIDIA GPU to render the game and then use an AMD GPU to add frames with fluid motion video. It's essentially the same thing here. They took an NVIDIA GPU to actually render the game and use DLSS3, but then an AMD GPU to actually output the display as well as use fluid motion frames. So they essentially had three frames for every single frame rendered, which means they got a three times uplift in performance. More specifically, we're looking at around a 290% increase in performance over native in Cyberpunk 2077 and 275% in Starfield. In one game, it actually lowered the 1% low frame rates, and we don't see a big jump in a couple, but this is pretty wild. Of course, this would make latency go way up, and there are some compatibility issues with the fact that you have an NVIDIA and AMD GPU installed into one machine, but it is definitely interesting, and it could be something to look into further, but I obviously wouldn't suggest trying this right now. Still, it's cool to see what some people come up up with. And next up, we just heard from WCCF Tech that NVIDIA is planning a new 4090 for China that gets under the restrictions imposed on the regular 4090. That card is said to be called the 4090D. For that man's got a big or dragon. Probably dragon. But today, we now have new information on what actual GPU is powering it. The regular 4090 originally used the 8102-300, but later on they updated it with the 8102-301. Well, according to leaker Megasize GPU, the 4090D is built from the 8102-250, which tells us a couple things. For one, this looks to confirm that the 4090D is a real D. And second, given it's the 250 instead of the 300 or 301, it will likely come with fewer cores. Of course, like I went over yesterday, I predicted that would be the case because it has to be under a certain performance level for it to fall outside of the restrictions placed on it by the US Department of Commerce. The question will of course then become how much do they have to lower the performance, especially if they are actually at the same price. 
And lastly for today, AMD has done it. It's happening. Multiple GPUs combined into one card. And I don't mean Crossfire or anything like that. In this case, developers wouldn't have to code for it. So a real MCM GPU. Of course, you might be thinking that AMD's RX 7900 cards already do that. But while they are the first multi-chip module gaming GPUs, they only have one chiplet that actually handles the processing. Then there are a few memory cache chiplets. This is still great because it allows AMD to produce them cheaper by combining smaller chips into one big chip. But it doesn't let them do what Ryzen and Threadripper and Epic did by combining multiple chiplets for a seemingly endless amount of cores, which would really help GPUs even more because they typically scale extremely well when you add more cores. The issue for GPUs is that the interconnect would have to be unbelievably fast to really view it as one chip. Well, a brand new patent filed by AMD looks to finally solve this problem. It's titled Distributed Geometry, and it's exactly like it sounds. You can actually see in the abstract it says, quote, Systems, apparatuses, and methods for performing geometry work in parallel on multiple chiplets are disclosed. According to the patent, each chiplet determines its own work that needs to be performed, instead of a central distributor. That way, each chiplet can independently perform a portion of the graphics objects of the draw call. So each chiplet can work in parallel by handling a portion of the graphics pipeline. Now, it's obviously quite a bit more complex than that, and there's going to be more issues like timing, etc., but it sounds like AMD may have finally solved the huge problem with an MCM GPU, which would mean that AMD could create monster GPUs that are simply impossible to do without an MCM design. Because the bigger a chip gets, the lower the yield rate becomes at an exponential rate. But taking smaller chips to combine into one helps solve this issue. With that said, it's still more expensive than just one chip, but not exponentially so. Ultimately, if Nvidia doesn't do the same, AMD could easily surpass them in terms of the fastest GPU. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for real MCM GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day!